Hey, thanks for joining me for another episode of Bitcoin and Coffee. I'll be your host, Eugene Forrest. So today on Bitcoin and Coffee, let's take a look at the marketplace as always. We've got Bitcoin coming in at $1,197.54. I guess this is average of lately, having trouble at the $1,200 mark, seeing sideways movement. Um, I mean, I, was, I had some big hopes here for the month of April and, you know, with all of the ASIC boost and the Segwick drama, I mean, we weren't able to really pull much past the, the 1200 I was hoping for all-time highs this month. Um, are we going to see it? I don't know. Uh, probably not. We probably won't see uh, much increases in Bitcoin really until uh, the end of this month, beginning of next month, I would say, with all the drama that's been happening. So moving on, we got Ethereum at 49.81. Uh, this is good. I mean, we're right there at the $50 mark. It got it. Let's see if it can hold it, right? We got Litecoin coming in at $10.79. This is down a little bit from yesterday. Um, we're dealing with the Segwick issues. Uh, we were all good to go. The, pi the price pumped. Um, now we're looking at... You know, the same old Bitcoin drama stuff. We got miners that in China that have unsignaled. We're looking at 63.8%. Now there's contention. We're unsure if Segwick's going to pass. Uh, there's been Bitcoin fever. Other coins have picked up the ideal. So whether or not we're going to see Litecoin pass, uh, I mean, I got my fingers crossed. Uh, we got Steam rolling in at 23 cents. Uh, Steam's seen some gains recently. Let's see if it can hold it and maintain. Uh, where are we at? Monero on this side of 21, $20.77. You know, Monero is always good for a 20 spot, right? We got Dash rolling in at 73.60, not bad of lately. On uh, Zcash at 69.93. Whoa, look at this. Factum's made some big jumps lately, $7.28. Not bad. So, here today on Bitcoin and Coffee, um... Let's take a moment and talk about a few different things. Uh, we got Bitcoin ATMs. They're showing up all over the world. They've been growing in numbers uh, since October uh, when the first one came out in 2013 in Canada. Uh, you know, we got 517 of them at this moment in the United States. Uh, personally, I was looking last night and I have two over in Orlando and I have one over in Tampa. So, I mean, they're a little bit of a dry. We're talking 50, 60 miles for me. But, I mean, the fact that they're starting to show up, the fact that there's great adoption, uh, I hear that um, Texas is having the most increased number as of 2016 in Bitcoin ATMs. Uh, this is all great. Uh, getting people access to be able to change their fiat currency and turn it into, you know, Bitcoin, is, is it's the best way to start getting adopted. Because as you walk by that machine every single day, you're going to be like, what is that Bitcoin stuff? Um, we got hash flares going to be shutting down on 420. Uh, they need to do some maintenance. So if you, you know, if you got hash and power over there or anything like that, you go to check on it on 420, don't freak out. They're going to be down for about eight hours or so, their little letter said. Um, I also got, hey, remember how Bitfinex uh, has pulled away their cash, you know, deposits or uh, wire transfers? Well, now Kraken's adding them. Uh, we got wire transfer for Kraken in, what do we got, U.S. dollars, euros, and the British pound. This is all going to be happening on April 24th. So, uh, the last little bit of news is um, I, some stuff I heard from other people and a little bit of my own thoughts. Uh, I heard, okay, well... Bitfinex is shutting down wire transfers and taking away the the U.S. dollar tether tag. So everyone's trying to, you know, get their money out of there. So they're turning it into what? Well, Bitcoin, high fees, low transfer speeds, uh, everyone's buying altcoins. So they're saying that that's why we're seeing these little small pumps in, uh, you know, like Ethereum and you know, stuff like that is that people are trying to purchase these altcoins and then transfer them out of there and then go to a different exchange and then, you know, do a wire transfer. And I guess, you know, Kraken is going to be now on one of the top of the list here after the 24th. Um, I don't know if I necessarily see this as true. I mean, if you were uh, on Bitfinex and you had, you know, large sums that weren't already in a cryptocurrency and you were holding USD or dollar tether tags and you hadn't transferred them out yet... Uh, I mean, there had already been such drama and contention with it, you know, that they had come and taken them away and put them back. Um, I mean, I guess that's what you're going to do. 
I mean, I don't know if necessarily if I had a large sum of money and I needed to move it out of there quickly, if I would, uh, I'd probably, you know, go with Dash. But, I mean, we haven't seen any mass increases in prices of Dash lately. Uh, potentially, I would pick up some Zcash or Monero. And, I mean, they're still looking about steady in the same. So, I mean, this is just some gossip I think I heard in the troll boxes. But it's something to keep in mind, you know, that this money does need to be moved. So, I mean, you want to keep an eye on these alt prices. If you see one that surges up, uh, this could be the reason behind it. You know, just something to keep in the thoughts of your head. And if this is the reason behind it, that there will be a short drop after. Because this is, you know, some whale or a couple whales that are trying to get out of there and move it and then get back. So, you know, set your stop losses. Keep an eye on your money. And remember... Go ahead, subscribe, like, and link to my video if you like what I got going on here at Bitcoin and Coffee. Below, I got affiliate links to get you going at uh, Genesis Mining, at Hashflare, and also uh, get you going at Coinbase. Uh, I also got some faucets down there to get you some free BTC and doggies. And remember, the most important thing of all, my email address is down there. It's eugeneforest20 at gmail.com because I need you to go ahead and write me to let me know what you want to see on this show, what you want to talk about, and hey, if you're just, you know, got some questions, trying to figure out cryptocurrency, want someone to point you in which direction, go right ahead, shoot me a letter. I would love to hear from you. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And remember, people, keep your Bitcoin safe.